హాయ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు జబా టెక్కి ఎవర్ సిన్స్ జబా ఇట్ కేమ్ అవుట్ వీ ఆల్ స్టార్టెడ్ యూజింగ్ ద స్ట్రీమ్ ఏపీఐ బ్లైండ్లీ రైట్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ గెట్ ఎ లిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ద ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ వీ డూ ఈజ్ ప్లే అరౌండ్ మెథడ్స్ లైక్ ఫిల్టర్ మ్యాప్ ఫ్లాట్ మ్యాప్ కలెక్ట్ ఎట్సెట్రా బట్ హియర్ ఈజ్ ద రియల్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆర్ యూ యూజింగ్ ద రైట్ ఆపరేషన్ ఫర్ కండిషనల్ చెక్ డూ యూ రియలీ నో వెన్ టు యూజ్ ఎ టర్మినల్ ఆపరేషన్ ఆర్ ఎ షార్ట్ సర్క్యూటింగ్ ఆపరేషన్ so let's take a real example imagine we have list of movie in netflix and we want to check is there any recent blockbuster movie with a rating above 9 the usual way most of us write the code looks like this we get the stream of movie then we filter if there is any movie whose rating is greater than 9 then if we found anything get that particular object or else return null then we are doing the null check if matching movie found if it is not null then do the operation what you want to do okay this works perfectly fine but if you check this piece of code my requirement is only to check whether any movie has a rating above 9 or not then why should i filter the whole stream and then check again wouldn't it be smarter to stop the stream immediately once the condition is met that's exactly why java 8 introduced three powerful terminal operations to handle conditional check more effectively any match all match and non match so these three methods will take the input as a predicate which is nothing a boolean expression and what it does any match will return true if at least one element matches the condition then all match will evaluate all the element if all element match the condition it will return true then non match it return true if no elements match the condition so you can use these methods for any conditional check whenever your requirement is to just check the existence of object based on that you want to do some action then you can go for these methods rather than iterate the whole stream and apply the logic on top of it so well in this video we are going to understand these methods with real and hands on examples okay all right so without any further delay let's get started so let's understand all these methods first let's begin with any match now let's say you have a requirement to find out is there any blockbuster movie whose rating greater than 9 this is what the wrong approach we have discussed right we are not going to use that rather what we want to use we want to use the any match now how we can do that that is very simple movies dot stream then any match what is the argument of this particular methods its predicate okay so you can define the lambda expression which will return true and false you can define m which is nothing movie m dot get ratings it should be greater than 9.0 if you found anything what it will return to me it will return boolean value okay if you found any give me the true or false now you have the boolean value you can write your logic like this if true do whatever you want to do now compare both the approach on first approach we filter the stream whole stream then again we check is there anything present if not return null and then based on the condition we are doing our job but here once my condition met it immediately terminate the stream can you see here and it will return true or false based on that you can do your task now the main difference if you need after condition if you need whole object to do something then you can go with this approach because this approach will only return you whether your condition match or not okay so only for conditional check you can go for any match all match and non match 
so that is what we need to understand let me comment this fine now let's go to the next method that is all match now let's say i want to check whether all movie available in hd or not okay that is what i want to apply condition on whole object to validate whether all movie are in hd or not so how we can do that it's very simple you have movies converted to the stream then can i use your any match no i want to apply the condition for all the element in a stream so i can go for all match then you can write your condition i mean the lambda expression movie m dot m dot hd available if yes give me the result what is it true or false you can print it just add some statement okay similarly here also i want to print the result so let me just add the use case what we understand for each condition this will easy for you to understand okay once you read the use case it will easy for you to understand okay this is what the scenario i can go for this condition check fine now let's go and check the non match now let's say in the list of netflix movie are there no movies with ratings below 3.0 something like that okay so let's see how we can do using non match again it is straight forward what you can do you have the movies converted to the stream then just use non match okay and you can check m nothing movie m dot ratings less than 3.0 okay now get the result either true or false you can define something like no trash movie you can also print this all good right now see how simple is this to just do the conditional check use any match for single validation use all match for all the positive validation use non match to find out there are no element as per your condition okay now just predict the output what this particular line will return to me is there any blockbuster movie rating greater than 9.0 do you have anything in this list we have one okay and that is 9.0 it is not greater than 9.0 now what it will return to me it should return false okay let's see now what is the next one all match are all movie available in hd let's see first movie is true second true third true but the fourth movie is not in hd what it will return it will check all the match okay if all condition is matched then only it will return true otherwise what it will return it will return false then are there no movie with rating below 3.0 let's see any movie rating has less than 3.0 no right so what it should return it should return true let's see whether we are getting the correct output or not are we getting correct output so intention is not here to just show the example my intention here to guide you whether are we using the conditional operator correctly or not if my requirement is just to check yes or no or just to check existence of that element in the list why should i go for complex stream operation why can't i use the correct conditional check and terminate the stream right after my condition met okay so you can go for these methods now you might be thinking hey i have a list of stream and i can do this logic also this will work there is no doubt but will it impact performance of my application let me show you one example i have created something called match benchmark where i have 10 lakh records okay and using any match i am filtering one element or just checking the condition okay whether this particular number is present in my number list or not 
okay this i am executing using any match and this i am executing use the wrong approach which which we supposed to not do that filter plus find any okay now let's run this and we'll see the difference whether then then you will evaluate whether it, it will impact to your application performance or not okay let me run this can you see the output any match how much time it take 67 millisecond filter plus find any which is wrong approach how much time it took 181 millisecond okay so it depends on your requirement after filter if you need that object to play further then go for this approach if you want to only check the condition match or not then go for any match all match or non match i hope this is clear for you now so just give a try and let me know if you have any doubts